Hello and welcome to episode 36 of DJ on Beer. We are sampling uh, craft beer. Uh, we've been doing this during the uh, COVID-19, Corona, Rona, whatever you want to call it, uh, virus quarantine, um, practicing safe social distancing. Um, and instead of doing in-person beer shares, doing beer shares via video. So um, this is just my take, DJ on beer. Um, this is episode 36, but by no means, no means does that mean I am a professional or anything like that when it comes to these videos, just doing it for fun. Um, so, but I do like to drink craft beer, like good craft beer, and uh, it's always fun to just taste it and comment on it, and hopefully maybe it helps. Some people decide whether they want to drink it or not, or uh, at least entertaining, or something for them to make fun of me, or laugh at me, or whatever at, um, whatever the case may be, so, um, but uh, today we are drinking Clawback, um, this is a hazy IPA with lactose from, it says dangerously tropical dry hops, double dry hops, and fermented with Kavik yeast, I guess that's how you say that, K-V-E-I-K. -E so this is done by Thompson Island, which is uh, one of our local breweries. Um, they're very new. Um, the uh, Sodell Restaurant Group collaborated with Trogues and um, opened up Thompson Island Be Brewery. Um, so... Uh, has a little Trogues influence, but it is run by Sodell and Thompson Island Breweries is its own uh, brewery, um, not officially associated with Trogues, so just a little influence from Trogues, but um, the thing I've had from there has been good so far. Um, before we try this, I also want to jump back to episode 35, correct two things. Um, one, I referenced the Dewey High Wax as a double IPA. Saw eight and a half percent. Mine immediately jumped to double. Um, they just listed as an American IPA. So it's a strong American IPA. Um, so I apologize for that. And then in my description, I also use the term juicy. And that's not necessarily wrong, but um, creamy may have been the better description of that hot wax um ipa from from dewey beer so neither one of those things are too big of a deal but i just if anybody is kind of following along um through all these episodes then uh, i just want to get that correction in there and without further ado we're gonna jump into this um clawback from thompson island hazy ipa with lactose Apologize if you hear the uh, Law and Order SVU if you run uh, volume in the background, but um, it's definitely a hazy, juicy IPA. The lactose definitely gives it a little bit of creaminess to it. Got to thank my buddy P.W. Spoon for uh, trading me this today. So, I um, believe he said this was fresh, freshly canned. So, excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, but, uh. Don't have another one, so I don't know if maybe I should, you know, wait a little while to drink this, but nevertheless, it's pretty good. Like I said, the lactose definitely is giving it a little bit of creamy. Um, getting a little strength to this. It's double dry hopped, so your hops are coming in nicely there. Um, definitely hazy. It's not like we're real juicy and 
and kind of like I went back and corrected the other one, I would, juicy is not necessarily wrong, but I would kind of side more with creamy than, than juicy, so, and again, I think that's because of the lactose, um, but, uh, yeah, hazy IPA, there's a lot of competition out there, so this is probably not going to get any higher than a four, um, but, uh, nonetheless, it's a good IPA, and, um, nothing wrong with with a four on untapped um and uh another job well done by thompson island um you can see we have our drink local glass here with the shape of the state of delaware on there um and hopefully everybody's staying safe practicing social distancing um preventing the spread so we can all emerge from this and actually have beer shares with live people in real person, that's be something to uh, cherish once we can do that again. <laughs> so, um, with that being said, uh, cheers and stay safe. This concludes episode 36 of DJ on Craft Beer.